गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ओके द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दिस आल्सो फर्स्ट मॉडल व्हाट इज द सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन यू ट्रांसफर द वोल्टेज स्टोर्स टू करंट सोर्स बट हियर कंसीडर प्रैक्टिकल वोल्टेज सोर्स शोन इन द फिगर हैविंग इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस आर एस सी कनेक्टेड टू द लोड सिंपल सर्क्यूट आर एस सी एंड वी एंड आर एल बट हियर आर एस सी इज अ सीरीज रेजिस्टेंस इंटरनल रेजिस्टेंस आर एल इज अ लोड रेजिस्टेंस वी इज अ वोल्टेज दिस करेंट सोर्स वोल्टेज सोर्स टू कन्वर्टेड टू करेंट सोर्स बट हियर वोल्टेज हियर हियर वोल्टेज सोर्स इज अ सीरीज कनेक्शन द नेक्स्ट करेंट सोर्स इज अ पैरल फाइव पैरल आर एस एच एंड आर एल इज पैरल बोथ ऑफ पैरल आर एस एच एंड आर एल विथ द करेंट सोर्स हियर आर एस एच करेंट इज फ्लोइंग टू आर एस एच आर एल इज करेंट इज फ्लोइंग टू द आई एल बट हियर द बेसिक कंसेप्ट वॉट इज अ करेंट वी बाय आर हियर वी बाय आर इज आर इज नथिंग बट आर एस सी एंड आर एल आर एस सी एंड आर एल इज इन सीरीज प्रीवियस डायग्राम बट हियर इट इज रिप्लेस बाय करेंट सोर्स देन लोड करेंट मस्ट बी वी बाय आर एस सी एंड आर एल बाई कन्वर्शन बिकॉज ऑफ बिकॉज ऑफ वोल्टेज सोर्सिस सीरीज the current source is parallel r s h and r l just to replace by current source then load current can be v by r s and r l consider the current source the total current i both resistance will take current is proportional to their values the current division in parallel current division in parallel that is i l equal to i into r s h by r s h and r l why r s h by r l Because of current division rule, that is I into I into R S H by R S H and R L. That is R S H by R S H plus R L. But now I L and V by R S H and R L must be same. So equating the equation one and two, that is the previous V by R S H and R S L. But here current division rule I into R S H R S H plus R L. What is internal resistance? R S C equal to R S H. That is equating the denominator. Denominator will be equating because R L R L is same. Cancel remaining R S C and R S H. Why V? That is V equal to the product of current into resistance. Here resistance and field here series. That is I into R S H. I into R S C. Finally the I equal to V by R. Same thing V by R S H as per the Ohm's law. But here V by R S, the current equal to V by R S H, V by R S. It means the conversion of the series as well as parallel, that is conversion voltage source to current source, the current will be same. Only change the resistance R S H and R S C. Voltage source is converted to current source, that is V by R S C. The current source is converted to voltage source, the voltage source V equal to I into R S H with internal resistance. Equal to R C. It means the only conversion voltage to current that is current equal to V by R C. The voltage is product of current into R S H. Now to transfer the sources here. Uh, just now I explained the uh, voltage source is series resistance internal resistance. The current is parallel I R S C. Same thing V R S C again I into R C. It means the direction here plus minus. Here upwarding, here plus two minus downward, just to change the direction. That is V by R C, V by R S. Both are same. Only the direction of the current. Here minus two plus the current is upward. Here plus two minus current is downwards. That's why the direction will be changed. Here the current in parallel I R S H. Here V by R S H. That is I R S H V equal to I into R S H. Here also V equal to I into R S H. Why are sent field resistance? The current is parallel. Parallel means sent field resistance. That is V equal to I into R S H. Okay, the next combination of the sources. Why the source will be combination? Suppose the same same direction V one and V two. That is plus minus V one. V two is plus minus. These source will be. Combining. Why combining? Because of 
both the source will be series with equivalent dependent on the polarities plus minus plus minus that is v1 plus v2 suppose the direction will be changed plus 2 minus again the final the voltage will be changes adding or subtracting but here the same direction that is v1 plus v2 here here also same minus plus minus plus that is finally subtract adding with the two voltage source v1 plus v2 thus if polarities of two sources are the same then equivalent single source addition of the two sources the polarity will be same it means both the polarity will be same both the sources it means v1 plus v2 for so here same just you see the two diagram figure a and figure b here v1 and v2 will be same polarity that is v1 plus v2 here also same polarity same here minus plus v1 v2 is minus plus finally minus plus that is v1 plus v2 the polarity of the two sources will be same then the equivalent single source will addition of the two sources with polarity will be same that of two sources here also same plus minus here here will be different source different uh, polarity v1 is plus minus v2 is minus plus it means plus minus that is v1 minus v2 because of v1 is greater than v2 that is minus here plus minus minus plus finally minus plus this polarities of two sources will be different then equivalent single source will be difference between the two voltage source it means polarity will be same polarity will be different previous polarity will be same that is adding here the polarity will be different but v1 is greater that is v1 greater than v2 that is v1 minus v2 here also plus minus minus plus here minus plus v2 minus v1 this case will be different greater of the two source the polarity of the such source is same same as that of greater of the two sources voltage source in parallel here equivalent single source has a value same v1 and v2 same polarities v1 is same polarity v2 will be same polarity that is v1 equal to v2 it's a parallel it must be it must be noted that the terminals is open circuit voltage provided by each source must be equal to the source are in parallel here the same source v1 and v2 here v1 equal to v2 Hence, the voltage source will be connected in parallel. It must be same voltage ratings through the entire current rating may be same or different. That is, V1 and V2 will be same polarity. That is, V1 equal to V2. Hence, two voltage source in parallel. Current source in series. Consider two current source in series, I1, I2, same direction, same. Current current has the same values, I1 equal to I2, because of the same. The current through series circuit is always same, hence it must be noted that current source will be connected in series must have same current ratings through the voltage ratings may be same or different. Current source in parallel. <coughs> Just see the A and B figure. I1 and I2 is upward direction, I1 plus I2. The second diagram, I1 and I2 is downward direction, I1 plus I2. It means same polarity adding here also same polarity that is adding thus if the direction of the current sources will be connected in parallel or the same then equivalent single source addition of the two source with the direction of the same as that of two source same direction no i1 and i2 i1 and i2 will be same direction here i1 plus i2 here also same direction downward direction both the current source that is i1 plus i2 consider two current sources with the opposite direction then the change i1 minus i2 just you see the figure A, I1 is upward, I2 is downward, that is I1 minus I2. That is I1 is greater than I2. Why I1 is greater? This is upward direction. In second figure, I1 is upward, I2 is downward. In this case, downward current, I2 is greater. First case, I1 is greater, that is I1 minus I2. Second case, I2 is greater, I2 minus I1. Thus, the direction of the two sources are different. Then, equivalent single source has the direction same as greater than two sources with the value of equivalent to difference between the two sources. The current source is connected in parallel must be have same voltage rating through their current ratings may be same or different. Here, I1 is greater than I2, that is I1 minus. Here, I2 is greater than I1, that is I2 minus I1. Okay, thank you. Okay, the next uh, topic is problems, okay. depends problems on series and voltage on the series, current and parallel.